Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Does that mean I can start touching stuff? <laughs> Ooh, face. What's wrong Serena? with your face? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This it was Ooh, truly okay. like an uh, enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. I'm gonna read that one part that I think you would have No, it disappeared. Okay, I'm sorry guys. But just so you know, uh I had just found out about this um Steam game called Serena on Tumblr. And I decided to try it out. It's completely free, and it will take like two seconds to download. Its file size is really small. But yeah, I'm gonna try and figure out the mysteries of Serena. My love. I love her. Grave face. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Yeah, okay. Beep, 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 beep. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love. We don't have a lot of photos okay, of ourselves I'm as a couple, that down. so this one. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. Would you pass me the pepper? Oh. You know, you should use it too. It's good for the pressure. I can't help these random associations. It's always been that way. I, I look at a pepper shaker and think of a Beatles song. It's just a pepper shaker, really. You always put too much salt in, dear. Think about your pressure. Think about your pressure. She always worried about my diet. I used to think she did it to annoy me, but now... Yep, guilty as charged. I love salt. <laughs> it emphasizes the taste a lot, and, and those crispy snacks. Mm, everyone loves them crispy snacks. You do! You do be, do be, do be dance party with the hand, whoa! Whoa, okay. Uh, the furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. It's not the healthier type, just regular table salt. I always planned to switch to mineral or sea salt, but then I always ended up buying the regular stuff. Doctors, they always overreact. This game is really weird. From what I know is you just click on anything, like any object or whatever, and... I guess you kind of discover things that happened with Serena. I guess maybe your wife or something. But, um, yeah. Let's go to the bedroom. Ooh! Ooh, this is so weird. Let's look in here. Open something sesame. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? Your dildo collection is in there. Don't show everyone. Let's look at them. We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers. And dildos. I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. <gasps> what if Serena's body's in there? It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. Or a fucking body. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Yes, you can use the gun to shoot someone and stuff him in this fucking trunk. We found this trunk at a flea market. No. We used Get, to no. Love rummaging around no. I don't want to listen to this anymore. Ah! What is that? Can I... I want to leave. There we go. What's this say? Come, love, with peace in your heart. Come, love, with oh. peace in your heart. 
said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. I want to go up ahead to this clock. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to Every cabin needs one. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here, as long as we were together and happy. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. Porn. Ooh, there's porn right here. Oh, I was so right. Holy shit. <laughs> she was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Boobtastic. <laughs> I'm terrified of dolphins. Lesbian goats, myth or reality. These are some high quality articles here. And there's porno mag. Nip slip. Oh, That looks interesting. We can always try it. I read it for the articles, of course. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Like that one by the guy. That one about the thing. I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. It's some way through the woods. Something good left in this world. They still make covers like this. Erotic. Not obscene. She's beautiful, but what's her obsession with dolphins? I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox okay, from time with to that time. Then. It's some way through the woods. Ooh, just slammed at. This game is so weird. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Far out, man. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. We're gonna get I've murdered. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Where is Serena? I'm curious. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight. Sharing the warmth. Sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. 
Claw. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. You devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. What happened to you, Serena? Tell me he killed you. Or you murdered I him. I still Ooh. can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Pick up the coins. There's, this game is so weird. Somewhere in here, in our private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. There's a strand Cubes. of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. I wonder if now that one picture that I saw in the very beginning, if now she has blonde hair instead of a gray blob of her face. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Hmm. Hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. Her teeth. Hmm. Shut up. Hers. I used it too when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Oh, well, then I don't care about anything. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Angry face! <laughs> If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? Uh, how do I get out? What's Commune this? Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Meds. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. After all, the last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. I need to go see if she has blonde hair now. Uh. What is this? Demon picture. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. 
Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate, yet I don't feel hungry. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Ooh. <laughs> she got her face. <laughs> Urgh, I'm so pretty. Boop, got your nose. Boop, got your nose. Boop. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual <gasps> film the? camera. What the fuck? It was a different world back then. You, camera. What are you doing? How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. That ticking. It never stops. The music is getting that weird. I don't like so it. Much time. Ah! Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? <laughs>